this time I'm actually stand for the reading of the word. Reading John, the ninth chapter, verses one through seven. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And I must work the works of him that sent me. Why yet day? The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus said, spoken, he spit on the ground and made clay a spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is interpreted sent. And he went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. Gracious and almighty God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, this morning, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your tender mercy. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, for how good you've been to us, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for our down sitting and our uprising, Heavenly Father. Yes. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, here in City Grove this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Let your anointing, Heavenly Father, come in the building, Father. Yes. yes. In your mighty name, Jesus. Strengthen, Heavenly Father, we weak and torn down, Heavenly Father. Build us up and make us strong, Lord, in your name, Father. Amen. And we be so humbly, Heavenly Father, submissive to give your name the praise, Heavenly Father, yes, for all the Lord. things you're doing for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, you this sin-sick world, Heavenly Father, Lord, right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, Heavenly Father, when we all stand in need of them, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, yes, but yes. we're asking, Heavenly Father, you, you work, Heavenly Father, work, Heavenly Father, while it's your day, Lord. Yes. Yes. Because we, we know, Heavenly Father, when night comes, no man can work, Lord. Yes, yes. But we do thank you, Heavenly Father, to you for all your grace, Heavenly Father, your mercy, yes, Heavenly Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. That you bless unto us, Lord. Yes. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, bereaved family, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless the sick and the afflicted, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord. Yes. Continue, Heavenly Father, you ever bless those, Heavenly Father, you ask for prayer, Lord. Yes, yes. Give them a mind, Heavenly Father, Jesus, to be able to say yes to your will, Lord. Yes, yes. And Lord, as you bless them, Heavenly Father, Jesus, and you heal their bodies, Heavenly Father, oh, Lord, let them return to you and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because, Heavenly Father, you've been so good to us, Heavenly Father. Yes. Continue, Heavenly Father, you have a blessing, Heavenly Father, with your blessings from on out, Lord. These yes. blessings we ask your name, be for your sake, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
uh, putting it with one of my cousins. So I'm asking prayer for me for that day. We the members of Cedar Grove Baptist Church would like to extend a warm welcome to our visitors this morning. We praise God for those who have never been in our midst and also for those who have come back. We know that the word of God will inspire you to return and that the word will encourage you this morning. You are welcome to hear praise God in spirit and in truth, lifting up the name of Jesus. We thank you and please know that you are always welcome to worship with us at Cedar Grove. All right, I had something to read, but I don't see it, so I guess I lost that. <laughs> Please excuse me for a minute. Okay. My point today is God's treasure on earth. <clears throat> Every life matters, whether brief or long. We each sing a different but meaningful song. The life we were given was planned long ago by God in heaven, for he made it so. He whispered our name before we knew how much he would love us and all he would do. The stars in the heaven gives honor to him by shining his glory again and again. The hairs on our heads are numbered to see. And God has a plan for you and for me. He's strong in weakness and carries our pain, eases our troubles, forgiving our shame. Every life matters as God has expressed. For we are his children, the best of the best. We sparkle as diamonds in the eyes of our king. His treasures on earth, what a beautiful thing. Yeah. 
with a whole lot of energy. Sit here and take a nap. And she said, Okay, you know, 
I'm going to loop around and then I'll let you know. So I'm in a, so she came and woke me up because my nephew, who I haven't seen in about four years, uh, bring him to the car. I'm like, he knocked on the window. <laughs> well, you don't even sleep. <laughs> Somebody, Amen. Amen. that's Amen. a weird feeling. Yes, so I was asleep. And I see this big, tall guy with a beard and all this. I'm like, and I'm thinking he got to ask for some minute. <laughs> I said, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> and I have a tendency, uh, you know, <laughs> when I see people or something, I just move. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so I was sleeping. I said, I ain't got nothing. He's like, oh, uh. I'm like, oh. Uh. <laughs> it's me, man. I'm like, man, if you don't move, man. I'm thinking that now, you know, he's trying to find a way because. <laughs> I'm in the place of them say, hey, hey, bro, you know, me and you, you know, we brothers, man. We got to help the brothers. But don't I know you from back in the day? And did you go to this school? I'm like, you're like fishing. You're trying to find out if I went to the school so you said that you knew me so you where I'm from. So I, my, my guard is always up. So he kept saying, uh, oh, come on, man. I said, man, move, man. <laughs> so I unlocked the door. I'm trying to, I'm about to put the door up on him. Oh. He said, this is Damari. I said, oh, nephew, nephew, oh. <laughs> and he's like, man, I ain't been, you know, I ain't seen him in a long time. I know I ain't been to church. I want to come and this and that. And I was just so happy to see him. But when I walked inside, I walked into a wedding. And I know that a lot of thugs. <laughs> and it, I'm not talking about like you know, the teenagers in the 20s or whatever. I ain't even about the 40s. I ain't even about the 50s. I'm talking old, old me. He came sagging in there. I'm like, oh, Lord. Oh. I don't know what I'm walking into. The young lady, I know her. She's like a, I call her my sister because of my sister in law and very close to the family. But in my mind, I never knew her, her husband, her fiance. So I said, I don't know this guy. So I walk in here, I don't, all I see is a lot of red, you know, that's blood. And I, then I see over here, it got the blue on. One guy had a blue rag, a bandana tie. I said, oh, oh wow. they really. Like, and, and so I'm thinking, you get blood and crimps together, in a few minutes, it's going to be blood. They always say, well, you the pastor, so you got to come in the middle, you got to... I said, that name is Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my wife said, what are you doing? I said, me. I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> hey, she's not annoying, but I'm like, I go to the bathroom, and I'm, I'm in a mirror, I'm like, Lord, I did you. <laughs> and I'm sprinkling water on my face. You know, I'm still tired of sleeping. I'm like, let me get myself together. And the guy walks in. It was so blood, I said, oh, boy. Yes, sir, how you doing, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, because you can't say the wrong thing. And I'm like, yes, sir. I'm, I'm blessed, sir. I'm blessed. Highly favored. He's like, yeah, me too, blood. And I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> then I tried to hurry get the water off my face and get my stuff together and left a tap in the back of the room. I said, oh, go back. He said, hey, you all right? I said, yes, sir. I'm moving fast. <laughs> and he said, well, wait a minute, go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I know you, man. I said, oh, oh, this is not one of the guys I had a confrontation with years ago. You know, because when I was out there, I said, I want to be bad. I want to be crazy. I want everybody to, you know, I just want to be just like one of the craziest guys. I want to be on TV. I want to be the craziest guy. I'm young. I'm dumb. So I have that mentality. So now I'm saying, Oh, okay. oh my God. I hope I didn't bother him or his mom or you know, somebody. And I'm like, yes, sir. I said, he said, don't, don't you so so I said, sir, I'm a church man. I've been in church all my life. And he's like, yeah, but your daddy was a pastor. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh. I said, he said, ain't you kill more? I said, there's a whole lot of kill more. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to pass it. I'm going to fix myself up. Pastor, he said, man, I need you to pray for me, blood. I said, I, yes, sir, I don't mind praying. I don't mind praying. And then I prayed. And he, he's, now he's laughing, talking about old times. I said, I, I, some, some people say I did remember, but I didn't want to go back that far. <laughs> and, you know, and so I'm coming out, the brother said, hey, hey, come on, what's up, man? He said, man, oh, you, 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 you remember the song? No, I don't, but I brought to my attention. And I'm walking around, and I got know all these other guys coming up. Hey, man, what's up, cuz? I'm like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, and I looked up, all the guys are calling me, now. I'm like, yes, sir, yeah. And then I'm like, <laughs> my wife said, I you okay? I said, come on up here. This is my way. I need some help. Come on up here, baby. And she's like, you know I don't want to be around those people. You know? I never want to be around those people. I said, they know I'm a pastor, me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I thank God that everything that I've been through yes, and how yes. he changed me, I want yes, everybody yes, to know. Yes, I want everybody to yes, see yes. that. You don't have to stay in that That's right. way of life. That's right. And, and my uncle told me years ago, he came to preach a revival, and he told me and my cousin, we were like crazy young men. And he said, he called us up to the altar, because they was having an altar call. And he said, I sat in the back. My dad was a pastor. He was well known in LA, well, all over California. Baggies, well off. And I didn't want to be in that realm. So I tried to be tough, try to look tough, all of that. And he came and told me, he said, Come here, nephews. Got something to tell you all. And you know how they pray for you when they give you a little talk. He said, I understand you tried to your uncle. My father had, it was, it was five boys and two girls. And the youngest uncle was one of the toughest, were considered one of the toughest guys in LA. And so we tried to pat our life out the hill. But not knowing, as I said, I never saw where he was a druggie. I never saw the alcoholic part. I never saw that. I just saw that he walked around the street, everybody was scared of him. I, that's what I want. He got respect. That's what I want. And when I later on I started to see the bad part where he was strung out. I walked on the street, he laying out on the street. And I'm like, uh, man, leave me alone. Get out of here, you know? And it hurted me. Man. It hurted me. So a lot of times we're, we're, we're sitting, we walk. Oh, I want to be like that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, I wish I had that money. And, I, and then when you talk to them, they don't tell you that bad part. Yeah. Yeah. They don't tell you how they suffer. That's yeah. right. <clears throat> because a lot of them don't want to be like them. Mm -hmm. They want that fame. They want yeah. that recognition. Yeah. And the word of God says, Mark, the perfect man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all we see in, in, our, in our minds because the fame, the, the fortune, yes. and you know, all of the good stuff. Oh well, he's, he's a good man. But one thing I, I know for a fact. I was working at Wells Fargo and I was, I was sitting there. We used to have a lot of board meetings. And one guy said, to be in this type of position where I am, you have to step on people. Amen. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, step on people. That's how you get to the top. And he said, your mama, your daddy, your family, your wives, some of them, you got to hurt Because some of them are in your way. Yeah, yeah. I said, what? Wait a minute. And start to read a whole lot of stuff about some of the rich people. Yeah. Some of them lied. Man. Some of them cheated. Yeah. Some of them robbed some of their friends. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be on top. Yeah. And now they're sending back, kind of, you know, some of, them, some of their friends, they've been going for years, childhood friends, and they have hurt it and cheated them. Yes. And now they sit back with all the wealth yeah. by themselves. By themselves. Yes, yes. yes. By themselves. Yeah. Oh, man. This one guy said, man, got a, got a whole lot of 
lot of women. And not so many women. And I said, <coughs> but you constantly, you know, in my mind, females, the majority of a lot of females go like that. They're high maintenance. Man. So the money that you have, you constantly put out. You yeah. constantly pay yeah. to keep them happy. Yeah. Just to make you happy. Yeah. And then when they leave,
And we know, well, some of us know, or should know, that during that time, when you, a woman had, you know, her monthly, whatever, she couldn't be around people. Yeah. That, that custom was she had to be away, and then come when she, everything's fine, she comes back around yeah. the people. So she couldn't be around people. Mm -hmm. So mind you, 12 years, yeah. 12 years, yeah. she's bleeding, mm -hmm. hemorrhaging, yeah. 12 years. Mm -hmm. So which means that she couldn't really be around people mm -hmm. for 12 years. doing my stuff, doing everything else, whatever. My uncle told me, you have people in your way Amen. that are hindering you. Yes. You have people in your way that is constantly drawing you to them and you think you're strong, but you're not strong. Amen. They're constantly crowding you Amen. to where you can't see. Uh, Bring about Zacchaeus. Amen. He was short and stout and he couldn't see. But he found any kind of way to where he could be saying, hey, here I am. Mm -hmm. But we are in this crowd of people to where we're stuck. And this came across my mind a few days ago. Move. Get out of my way. Move. Yes. Get out of my way. When you get up, my dad said, when you get tired, I mean, really get tired, when you really want to change, yeah. we said we want to change, yeah. we said we want to help, yeah. but when you really want, when you're tired of yourself, yes. you would do anything. Yes. Yes. Something you say, man, I don't care what he said, I, I, I ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. I, no, I, I ain't doing it. I'm, I'm not going to fast. I'm not going to do this. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be me. That's old. That's, that's what they did way back in the day. But one day, one day. God will get to you yeah. to where you yeah. will hate yourself. Uh -huh. You will hate the things that you're doing. Uh -huh. Why you sitting there looking at Billy Bob and their wives? You start to look at your life and you start to hate what you've been doing for years. Amen. I saw myself, I said, all these years, now mind you, I, I wasn't doing the game banging stuff for years. It felt like years. But when my wife first lady got pregnant, that's when I stopped. Because the things that I was doing to people, I don't want that to happen to my wife, Amen. or my children, or my child. Mm -hmm. I, I just knew she was having a boy, so I was like, I don't, I don't want my son to be in this lifestyle. Uh -huh. I definitely don't. And a, a girl, a man having a daughter, uh -huh. oh, you talk protective. Mm -hmm. <coughs> little boys playing with her, wait, hold up, man, back up. <laughs> You know, you got the little kids with a hood. Nah, get your hands off her. You want to get Nah, 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 nah. Get your hands off her. <laughs> but when she had my daughter and she was sick, my, my, my wife kept saying, I can't be with you. I'm from that lifestyle. I, I, I can't be with you. I kept her, oh, yeah, you just are. My she was, she was saying, Kim, move. Leave me alone. Get out of my way. Mm -hmm. You're hindering me. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I could have said, no, I'm not. When she had my daughter, God showed me, oh, you are the hindering. You, you hindering her. You caused this problem. Uh -huh. I could have said, well, no. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody kept saying, well, you know, you know, you gotta be the man. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be the father. Don't tell me what I got to do. I already know what I got to do. Mm -hmm. I just got to find how to get these things done. Yes, that is Like this morning, Sister Yvonne said, Josh broke two jobs. I understand. Two, oh, yes. three. You know how they Jamaicans? Uh -huh. have, I had one that I had four jobs. Uh -huh. Four jobs. Yes, sir. Just to try to make things come together. Yeah. Amen. Like I said, I'm in. My wife is hot. 
bed tonight. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Because I don't, I don't want a woman who just don't care, ain't fixed up, and hair, and just, no. I want her to look fine, pretty, how do you want to call it? My, little, my, my neighbor, I call her, I call her my life, and I call her beautiful. Because to me, she can have pigtails, whatever else. She's beautiful to me. To me. She can gain weight, lose weight. Still beautiful to me. One of the reasons I liked her in America because she was skinny. Real skinny. And I said, man, the girl that I used to date back in the day, she was light skinned. Most guys like ice skinned woman. She had real long hair, light. You know, she looked like a white woman, uh -huh. but she was black. Uh -huh. I said, ooh, I'm going to marry her. Uh -huh. And I went away for about a few, three months. Uh -huh. Back east, come back. She kept wearing sweats. I said, can't see the shape no more. Uh -huh. I don't see the shape. Why are you wearing all this sweat stuff? Uh -huh. Then I started looking around at the, the aunties. I mean, they run into the car, and 
Like you're a celebrity. I said, Nick, I was just saying, this is how I used to be. No, no, you ain't, I know you used to be. <laughs> they still, you know, coming around you, whatever. I said, I'm not like that no more. So one of the things I had to do was to pull away. Amen. Pull away. Stay away. Yeah. You know, they, they still my friends. Oh, they're not my friends. Mm -hmm. I know them. I know of them. Mm -hmm. But that's no more me. The law says you're guilty by association. Yeah, right, right. All right. So if I keep hanging around sinners, people who drink, smoke, and everything else, even though I don't smoke and don't do those things, yeah, so. I will be categorized <clears throat> with them. Yeah. Mind you, I'll be the pastor that probably smoke, drink, Amen. clubbing, mm -hmm. even though I don't do it because I'm hanging around them. Yeah. So I don't have to. One day I said, move, get out of my way. Uh -huh. I can't say it. You, excuse me, get, get out of my way. <laughs> but you know when you, when you timid, Amen. people look at you like, man. And then sometimes they say, oh, I, push me out the way. Uh -huh. But I had to have that mindset that I was so determined yes. to please God. Just like the woman with issue of blood. Mm. She did not care. Mind she ain't fucking nothing. She, what about that? She pressed her way. Amen. Which means you said, move. Yeah. Move. Uh -huh. I need to be healed. Yes. And she knew in her heart and her mind that all I got to do is just touch. Yeah. Just, he didn't have to say nothing to me. Amen. Then I said, baby doll, you healed, yeah, you know, in the name of the father. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I've been serving so many years, all I do is just touch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The word God said, the heal. Yeah. So she didn't touch his skin. Uh -huh. yes, the so the clothes yeah. had power. Yeah. 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 She told them, in my, I'm putting in my mind, move, get out of my way. Uh -huh. Well, you ain't supposed to be here. I don't care. Yeah. I need help. Yeah. Yes, yes, Lord. Mr. Ross reads a message one, 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 uh, one weekend. How bad do you want it? Yeah. Yeah. How, how bad do you really want that connection, relationship with God? Yes. We have to get out of this thing where the pastors and everybody will try to tell you, this is what you do. You do this, whatever. I used to hear this all the time. And one day my dad said, everybody has a unique way of worshiping God. Everybody has a unique way of connecting with him. And he said, son, I can't tell you how to stay close to him. I can't tell you. I can give you pointers on how I did it. Yes. But your life is totally different from my life. Man. God's going to take you to a whole other place. Yes. To a place where I've never been. Right. Right. I said, oh, I can't. But if you really want this, this spiritual life, yes. it's not when I come here on Sunday, I'm holy, I'm this. No, 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 no. This is a permanent. Yes, yes. It's not, it's, there is no part-time saints. They get full-time benefits. Yeah, okay. There are no part-time saints yeah. that get full-time benefits. Amen. Amen. God doesn't work that way. No. Amen. He tells you, I give my all, I want you to give your all. Amen. But what he does say, he, he, he tells you to at least try me. Amen. Yes. Put forth an effort. Yes. yes. And, and you know, we say, if you take one step, he'll take two. Yeah. And if you do this, he'll do that. Mm -hmm. But he wants you to continue that walk. Amen. Yes. It, doesn't, it, it doesn't stop here in this building. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you live out of this building, you still will be a disciple. All right, all right, all right. This is the way I am. Y'all know I'm a Raider fan. <laughs> and I represent Raiders. All the time, 24-7. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and I don't care 
if Kansas City Chargers, <laughs> I don't care who it is, I represent my team. I'm a true fan. <laughs> now, with Christ, my mom told me, same way you're a true fan for your teams, you have to be a true fan for him. Amen. Now, this is Cedar Grove. Mm -hmm. If I'm a member of Cedar Grove, I have to rep Cedar Grove. Amen. Wherever I go, hey man, don't fuck up. Yeah, but Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove t-shirt, Cedar Grove, whatever. So that's what I do at Cornerstone. When people see me, I went back east and Cornerstone, uh, my wife had jerseys made for the Saints. We all had them type of, we had football jerseys, basketball jerseys, baseball, all them type of jerseys. I went there to another church and I walked in there with my Cornerstone stuff on. Man, well you know this is, okay. But I'm representing where I'm from. When I go out in the community, when we was on Figueroa, I represented my church. Now God bless to where we are here. And we're helping us see the growth. Uh -huh. When I go out, it ain't so much waiting. Cornerstone, Saturday, Sunday, see the growth. Amen. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. If I'm in, I'm in. Amen. Right. <laughs> yeah, because I want people to come in and to worship. Amen. So when I tell you about my past, yeah. it's not only just. This is what God did for me, and I'm a pastor cornerstone. This is what God did for me, and I'm a disciple. Amen. So wherever I go, yes. I rep. Mm. I represent hard. Yes. Just like that, as I said, people represent their teams, uh -huh. they represent their job. Yes. Do the same thing for here. Yeah. Yeah. Let people know that hey, it ain't dead. Amen. It's not done. It's reborn. Mm -hmm. And it takes time. It's a cycle. Amen. Now everybody don't want to be part of a cycle. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, once the cycle is finished uh -huh. and flourished, the ones who's in there, it ain't done going on. Uh -huh. Laughing and mocking. Yeah. And you know, this is my trend. I'm part of this. I'm part of and you, that was my seat. That was it was your seat. Amen. Now you got a whole, what, five, six rows of people. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get all kind of people. Mm -hmm. yes. So you come in here thinking, well, that was my seat. You're going to find somebody that still got a little thug in there and say, you better move <laughs> and get out of my seat. <laughs> so hold on Amen. to what you have. Yes. Don't sell out. Amen. Press your way to see the growth. Yeah. My dad told me you take care of home first. Yeah. You, you take care of home first. Yeah. And he, he was telling us, and my, and my brother, about our home, but he talking about God's home. Yeah. My dad told my mama for years, I will not buy a house until I finish taking care of God's house. Man. He read it for years. And my mom kept pressing him about buying a house, and they bought a house. And my mom was happy, but my dad was like, Yeah, we got a house. But in his mind, I, I still got to, I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't finish God's house. And he kept saying, my, my mom kept saying, Well, honey, I want to do this. He said, We can't do nothing until we finish. The work. Because he wanted the full time benefits. Yeah. Anytime we call God, he, guess what? He's listening and he's there. Yeah. And he wants to help and give you anything that you, you need and want. Yeah. But he knows some of us, we're not representing him yeah. or Cedar Grove full time. Amen. Some of us 
I like some of those, those little thugs on the street. When, when you're in your, in your neighborhood, oh, I'm hard, I'm bad, oh, yeah, I'm this. But then as soon as you step out into another neighborhood, you fix your clothes up, whatever rag you was carrying or whatever, that's in your pocket. You, no, if, 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 if you were part of that, be a part of that 24-7. Yeah. Look at Church is going to grow and flourish and all work together. Amen. Yes, we need you. And then if you, if you don't want to be here, guess what? The church is still going on. Amen. Church is not going to fall because somebody left Amen. and somebody's upset. It's not going to fall. Amen. Because this is God's house. Amen. So if anybody's in your way, or the word of God, he said, you can have much faith to the point where I can tell this mountain uh -huh. move yes. and it will move. Yes. If you got too much faith, you can tell a mountain to move. Uh -huh. The other little small obstacles are in our way. There's nothing. Amen. So it makes me wonder, do you really want those things to move? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Somebody wants to hold on to some of those things. Yes. Or be a part of that crowd. Mm -hmm. I'm in with this. One of the things that I told the saints, we're marked. Mm -hmm. We have a mark on us. Yes. God has a mark on us. And the mark was there way before we was born. Amen. Amen. Way before we were born. Yes. So it's like this. It's like we are all squares. Mm -hmm. The shape of a square. And the world is a triangle. Mm. Heavy. I, I know when I was a child, they had this, this little, these little tests for a child or, or whatever. They try to have these different shapes and try to put the, you try to put the, the right square or the right shape into mm -hmm. the right, you know, box or whatever else, so we see how smart you are or whatever. But that's how we are. We are the square. The world of the triangle, mm -hmm. and the world is trying to force us into this square. I mean, into this triangle. Now, as you keep trying to put that square in that triangle, yeah. it eventually loses its shape. Yeah. Because you're constantly trying to force it in there. You're forcing it and it's chipping away. That's what's happening to the ones who are trying to, well, hey, you know, I, 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 you know, these still are, I, I, I just want to be a part of, I just, it's not going to work. Amen. Yeah. And they know it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So all they're doing is just abusing you. Yes, okay, you want to be part of this? This is what you got to do. You got to go through. You got to suffer. And they come and try to force you into the group. And you're forcing yourself. And then, in the outcome, you still never are trying. Mm -hmm. So, a square, after you start pushing all around on the same, all around the sides, that's what happened. Nobody become a circle. Mm -hmm. That circle still won't fit in that triangle. So you are constantly being beat and bruised up when you really don't have to. So anything that's in your way, push it out your way. The word of God says, tell it to move. So God can finish doing his work in us to make us better than what we are. And he will do it. Because he never goes back on his word. God bless you. I hope someone got something out of this and from this to where it'll help you through your walk with Christ. God bless you.